The Adeptus Mechanicus are the machine worshipping cult of Mars, and they are unjustly and incorrectly pinned as copulating with toasters. Maybe the Dark Mechanicum, but not them. <sighs> Sorry, I got ahead of myself. The Mechanicus hail from the planet of Mars and serve as the independent tech support for the Imperium. This all started off before the Age of Strife, where Mars was a planet full of machines and mechanics. When the Age of Strife happened and humanity was fending for themselves shattered without their fancy technology, Mars was one of the few to actually thrive, with most of their people being independent and almost a caste system forming where the people who know how to work on machines became more notable. They were able to repurpose the machines that no longer worked for them and turn them into things that would work. This made it so the Red Planet was very independent and made it so they didn't need help from anybody else. This is when the Emperor of Mankind tried to attack Mars during the Great Crusade. The Mechanicus basically used a thousand lumen strobe light directly into the eyes of the Emperor and the Space Marines, which caused him to stop and actually do something the Emperor of Mankind has never done before. Negotiate. The Emperor of Mankind allowed them into the Imperium of Man and let them go on their exploits across the galaxy unhindered. They were simply too strong and better off serving the Emperor than being dead because the Emperor wanted to rule over them. They were also part of an alliance now, making it so part of the rules were that they needed to subscribe to me at youtube.com and ring that bell to get notifications. The Mechanicus did come out of the Age of Strife kind of weird before the Great Crusade reached them though, with their grim darkness really starting to show through because they weren't just normal people anymore. What I left out is that 5,000 years can be such a crick in the understanding of mechanics, electricity, and how machines work. In layman's terms, they went from worshipping the people who could make the machines work to worshipping the machines and trying to become more like them. They turned into the Cult Mechanicus, which was later called the Adeptus Mechanicus, and believe that knowledge is the highest form of divinity possible. Besides being a perfect target for Zeech, they also believe that the body is a machine that is flawed but had the ability to gain knowledge, with the main goal of the Cult Mechanicus being to get as much knowledge as possible and preserve as much knowledge as possible. Not only to better themselves, but to also better humanity. They believe that the Machine God is their true lord, and believe that the Machine God is the reason humans can make machines in the first place, or that organic life exists in the first place, with that God making organic beings as rudimentary machines. With the God Emperor of Mankind coming to Mars, they believe that the God Emperor was someone called the Omnissiah. The Omnissiah is the physical incarnation of the Machine God. When Mechanicus don't find things they like, they call it Tech Heresy. This can just be a gap in their knowledge or something that aliens made that they don't believe they have the right to make. This can range from things like a model of Tank that was made pre-Age of Strife that they didn't know about, or an alien Tau weapon or Shuda. This causes the Adeptus Mechanicus to have large gaps in understanding technology and the universe, much like how I have large gaps in the knowledge of Warhammer lore. Since the Heresy, there has been a gradual decline of humanity, and the Mechanicus are no different. While they are still needed more than ever because they are another integral part of the Imperium with no one knowing how to do anything anymore because of the massive loss of knowledge, no one knows how to really operate anything anymore. I mean, like, even the Mechanicus don't, and they basically spend their whole life studying it. The Tech Priest of the Mechanicus believe that there is a soul in every machine that makes it operate, which Big Shock is just another misunderstanding, because it could just be like a BIOS launching in a computer, and that could be misinterpreted as a machine spirit. Rituals and holy incense are needed with a Tech Priest that spends an entire better part of a day just pressing a button to turn a machine on, or somebody straight up just has to die to refuel a spaceship. Things become needlessly complicated when the cult mechanicus gets involved, but they are the only people that can really do anything with this more advanced technology. With things like giant spaceships not exactly being as replaceable as they were before, with their supply being very limited. Mechanicus members have many cybernetic implants, with them trying to abandon their faulty flesh for wholly unflawed, perfect, unrelenting machine bodies. Man, that does seem kinda cool. Except for that part where you slowly lose your humanity and become a machine. 
Like, eating food's fun, and I don't want to chug fuel instead. Sometimes the Mechanicus voluntell people into their cult. With a tech priest walking around might just point at a person and go, You. Yeah, you. You're, you're mine now. And stealing them away and turning them into a servitor. Turning them into a servant of the Omnissiah, where they're basically killed and turned into another mechanical monster to help the Mechanicus with anything they might need. This can also happen to a... a, a Baby. Ooh. Yeah, they make babies and hollow them out and then make them carry ammo for them. I don't know about that one. You might, you know, that might, you might get called cringe on social media for that. A commonly used joke in the Warhammer community is that the Mechanicus love technology a lot. So much that they keep toasters as waifus and do many nefarious deeds with them. Which would be like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's funny. It's, it's funny. But if anyone were to do it, I think it would be the Dark Mechanicus. The Dark Mechanicus are the chaos-corrupted traitors of the Mechanicum that are somehow more horrendous and atrocious than the Mechanicus themselves. The first true leader fabricator general of the Mechanicus fell to chaos, and many followed him pushing the limits of what technology could do to people. And they're scary, like I, w I would not want to meet one of these guys. Maybe a tech priest, you know, I don't think I'd be too good with cybernetic implants, but never a Dark Mechanican member. Get away from me. I'll use my whistle. The military commander of the Mechanicus is Belisarius Call. Belisarius Call has been around since the Horus Heresy, with him making a sick deal with Rebute Gilliman to not only revive him, bring more space marines around, but also to make him the military commander of the Mechanicus if this happened. He later did do that right after the fall of Cadia, with the help of Saint Celestine and Inquisitor Greyfax. He then resurrected Gilliman and gave him these sick new Primaris marines, their minis are so cool. There's there's definitely a reason he asked him to do it. Besides that, he has a very large story with him being active in those 10,000 years and doing stuff, which I can't cover right now in a short video, but I would love to go over his history later on. On tabletop, the Mechanicus are a big scary gun line that vaporize people, space marines, tanks, anything in its way. But they're, for the most part, pretty bad at doing anything that isn't shooting. With them being glass cannons that can't really take any punishment and move slow, which makes them very difficult to use with them being one of the lowest win rate armies in official tournaments. But they are annoying though, they will obliterate something if they focus fire on it, but besides that, you can just take control points instead. I'm not an expert on the Mechanicus by any means, this is kind of what I got based off of my own research on Wikipedia pages. I love their look and their lore and the way they interact with people in media and video games, especially with Belisarius Call and Trazen talking to each other during the fall of Cadia. What do you like about the Mechanicus? And did I miss anything? Or is there anything you want to tell me about the Mechanicus that you know? Make sure to tell me down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Till next time, fellas.